Clouds are looking real pretty up there. I found a restaurant that has a Navajo taco, so I'm here, gonna have lunch, then I'm gonna go do a hike in Archers National Park for sunset. So that's my plan. So it's a pretty chill day, honestly. It's been raining, so I haven't really been doing much, just kind of hanging out in my car, which is basically my bedroom. I ended up getting a side of the bread to go because it's so good and I want to snack on it later. It's just really fluffy and delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So pretty. Are you okay? Oh, it's a quick little bit. It's again so pretty out here. Um, this is called this one is one that were two next to each other. It looks like rhinoceros. Um, those are called the window arches, and then that one over there was called the turret arch. Anyways, it's been a really lovely evening. I'm currently heading back into the town of Moab. It's not too far from where I am. I mean, it's like 10 minutes, 5 minutes away from the national park. And then I'm going to get ready for bed and go to sleep. Well, I didn't really get to do what I wanted this morning because it's been pouring rain. Ugh. <sighs> But, 
I did get a lot of sleep. It's already like nine something. So I got more than eight hours of sleep last night, but it's really, really cozy in here. I back I just spent a couple of hours back in the cafe getting work done um, getting frustrated with the whole blog process <laughs> um, but got some stuff done so that's good I am have a few hours before the rain starts up again so I'm gonna do my best to go do a little hike and after that I will reassess what I want to do this evening because I can't really see the sunset because it's going to be raining and there's going to be a full moon tonight, but it's going to be raining. So, you know, options are limited. I'm currently on my way to a, a trail called Corona Arch and Bowtie Arch. So, I've never been back here before. It's fire on the side of the road. But everything's wet because it was raining. It's definitely a controlled burn because there's people working here. This parking lot is huge. A trail register. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> Alive. <laughs> nice. Okay, it's not really a trail register. It's more of a, like, rating your experience kind of thing. And now we cross a railroad track. How cool. Which one to do first? This one's shorter. And Corona Arch is like the headline. Hmm. These little green things really do help. I don't know what I'd be doing without them. Ooh. Man. All right, here's Pinto Arch. Made it. <laughs> the views certainly aren't bad from up here either. Echo. All right, back to the fork in the road we go. Saving the best for last. Oops. Of the Corona Arch. There's so many of these little, like, indents in the rocks everywhere, but they're not full arches. We're getting some Zion level risk here. Some angels landing. Now we have a ladder. Bowtie arch. Corona arch. Getting closer. Kind of looks like an elephant's trunk.
There's the train tracks. Huh. Would you look at that? We have some rare petroglyphs here. Probably from a 2000s person. Needs to learn the concept of leave no trace. But they will. And it's raining. You can see. Yay, I'm almost back to my car. Perfect timing. Oh yeah, just in case, no, you didn't already understand the concept of a terrain trap. I really want to live in Utah just so I can have this license plate. <laughs> Here we have a sope with carne asada. Mmm, really excited about that. And of course, a couple tacos. I wanted to try their shredded taco with the crispy shell. And then a regular carne asada. I'm very hungry. Full moon. Cool. That's the moon. <laughs> so bright. Brought back the pink beanie this morning. Hello. I'm here at Mesa Arch in Canyonlands National Park for sunrise. This is supposed to be like one of the top spots. Oh my god, my hands are so numb. I can't wait to get back to my car. This is the orange cliffs overlook. There's just a ton of these pullouts that you can see all the different canyons around here. This is like the island in the sky, so the road is all up here, and then just on either side is just canyon like this. Grand viewpoint overlook. Look at those mountains, too. We probably shouldn't get too close, but it gives you a rush, you know? This one is the candlestick overlook. This is pretty. I think it's like a giant viewing deck. It's so flat. Having fun? I am. <laughs> I 
man, that's the kind of view you hang on a wall. It's so pretty. Quick rest stop. That's so beautiful. Quick update. I am here in Provo, Utah. Um, I think I was about uh, between like three and a half to four hour drive to get here from Canyonlands National Park. I got a hotel tonight, so I'm going to relax and clean up and organize. <sighs> Alright, home sweet home. Tonight's dinner. Good old... Panda Express. I needed a change of pace. I've had Mexican food every night for like the last three weeks. January's almost over, but I feel like I've done so much and I'm really tired. But I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I was thinking about going to Sundance. I have a few other options. I think I'll just decide in the morning. So, good night.